Hello beautiful people and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. If you are already well versed in the Galactic Mayan waves, what I will say is this wave spell is one to watch. It's going to be a biggie in a really good way. And we are also completing the final moon of our 13 moon cycle. So within the galactic calendar, New Year is all about serious rebirthing in the sky. And that happens on the 26th of July. And every year, because we go through these 13 moon experience of we're a planetary body moving around the sun, but equally we're a human body. Oh, Molly's just disappeared. We're a human body that went through this nine month cycle in our mum's tummy. So we've got these like two cycles that we experience as human beings. And we have the Zolkin, which is the nine month representation, which is what the wave spells are all about. And we also have this grander cycle of the 13 moons. So on the 26th of July, Galactic New Year, we're coming into like the waning of the process that we've been on as a collective body. And this is the whole thing with these modalities of time, this earthly experience where we go through the year cycles of the 13 moons. It's more of the like collective theme of evolution. So we've been collectively moving through the energy of red self existing moon, which is the fourth year of the process that started in 2019. And we know We've experienced all that's been moving in our collective body since 2019. Like, you couldn't make it up. You literally couldn't make it up, but it's totally in alignment with, you know, alchemy, because that's what this 13 year cycle is about. The wizard is about being the alchemist, being able to transmute the limitation and the, the old stories of human into expansive, unlimited potential. So we've gone through this fourth year of the process and you know, for the final 28 days, I'm facilitating the second wave of the cosmic clock. So in the first transmission of the course, the cosmic clock part one, which I didn't realize it was gonna be a two-parter, we were really diving into all things galactic mind astrology and looking at the Zolkin and focusing on the nine month cycle focusing on the technicalities of it, looking at the different archetypes, the tones, the energies. It's kind of like the geeky foundation of the nine month energy of processing evolution through these archetypes. But then we also, and this is what the second wave is about, we also have this 13 moon experience and we can utilize the moons to gain the gold. So in this final, 28 days the cosmic clock part two is all about being able to utilize and integrate all that we've journeyed in you know our lives since july 26 last year and coming then into this space of integration and really you know i think we we're still learning and it's interesting that we've been going through this red self-existing year um red self-existing moon year because we're still learning, it's all about the divine feminine and how to like re-anchor the foundations of what it is to be a human on planet Earth and how we live and create here. And it's interesting that like part of the way that we've been conditioned to exist and behave is just like the output all the time. And this is the idea of like the masculine energy and it's not about gender, it's about like, you know, how we experience and behave. So this masculine energy is like product, 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 productivity, productivity, blah, blah, all that shit on premenstrual. So words are not that easy to come across. Um, but it's this like, go, 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 do, 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 which is wonderful. But then we also need the rest, 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 integrate, reflect, pull open those threads, revisit those painful aspects, reweave the story based on what we've actually transformed. Transform the things that are still niggly so that then when we come into the new year, we've cleaned up and completed consciously the year that we've been journeying. So we start on Monday, it's 56 pounds for a 28 day journey, two calls a week, 
diving deep internally to reflect and transform, but then also getting clear about what it is that we're bringing forward. What are the threads of inspiration that we've been exposed to? And obviously journeying within a container as absolutely beautiful people. So yeah, that's that. If you want to join, I'll put the link below. It's gonna be really beautiful. And whether or not you did the first wave of the course doesn't matter, because this is the more feminine transmission. And it's about personal evolution through reflection and integration, as opposed to like masculine mind information vibe. So yeah. So 26th of June, we move into the energy of the yellow seed. So you might have remembered that I put a big marker in the wave spell of the red serpent. So within the galactic Mayan calendar, within this nine month sulking, we have like columns of energy and we've just completed the column in the center of the process. Now on the left hand side of that column and the right hand side of that column, we have two 13 day processes that are the most potent processes in the entire calendar and the reason that they are so potent is because each one of them has 10 back-to-back -back portal days. These portal days are essentially moments where the veil between the dimensions is thinner so what we get to experience is you know like we, we kind of operate still on snoo snooze as humans don't we it's like we know you know, for somebody that's not done any personal development, they say that it's something like 70% of action and behavior and, and feeling is unconscious. So it's like most of what's operating is like out of the awareness of the individual. Then we start to do personal de development and we begin to make the unconscious conscious, but we still have these elements. We're not awake all the time. We're not aware of what's going on all the time. We still have these like unconscious triggers. We still have the moments of blanking out, coping, all these different things. But when we're in these portal days, it's like we're a bit more awake. The energy on the planet is stronger. So sometimes that means that we're purging more. Other times it means that we're channeling more. You know, it, it works on both sides of the equation. So the yellow seed energy, the yellow seed process has 10 of these back-to-back -back portal days. So we have the serpent that has the 10 back-to-back -back portal days and that takes us into the center of the process. And the serpent's all about shedding, releasing, transforming, power activation. And then on the other side of this central column that we've just journeyed, we have the yellow seed. And the yellow seed is about the planting, the creating, the visioning, the beginning. So it's interesting that we have like the power shed and then the power plant. And we're now entering the process of the power plant. So yellow seed is yellow. The yellow signs are all about this energy of like opening. And it's so funny, the cat's trying to get out, but she's just going to have to deal with it for 10 minutes. <laughs> you can hear her like clawing the carpet like, yo, this is my normal way of communicating with you. Why aren't you responding? <laughs> So these yellow energies are about the blossoming, the opening. And, you know, we've got like the red activation. We've got the white getting clear. We've got the blue transformation. And then we have this yellow, which is like, ah. And sometimes in order to ah, there's a process that we need to go through, but it is a blossoming energy. So we're really getting to blossom during this process, during this wave spell. And, you know, the, the seed energies, you know, some archetypes I feel are pretty straightforward. Other archetypes need a little bit of like, what is all that about then? But a seed, you know, we know the vibration of a seed, you know, a seed holds within it all of the codes for what it's gonna become. To pick it up, it's like, all oh, this is, it's just a seed, flick it away. But actually that seed, what it manifests to be, is something that we marvel at. So there's something within this process that's about the recognition, the rediscovery of, the reconnection with what is in our soul seed, what is in our packet of potential. You know, all the things that we are destined to become are already within us. There's not a, if we're living a soul-led life, there isn't, um, there isn't anything that we are meant to become that we don't already have. 
and you know there's something in that that I think is really beautiful it's like our mastery is already encoded so on one level there's nothing to do just dust just dust and get rid of what's in the way and from that space of getting rid of what's in the way we then open to our potential but there is also an element of the seed which is this intentionality you know what is it that we are choosing to plant and the recognition also that you know we're planting all the fucking time whether we're doing it on purpose or not like whatever pot we're pouring into whatever thoughts we're feeding whatever relationships we're feeding whatever dynamics we are choosing to invest our energy into we are seeding ourselves into that code and you know sometimes we can be like feeding into these situations these old stories for our whole lives and then we sit and are like why am I so stuck in this story? I feel really trapped, I can't do it. And then all of the other stuff comes around like blame and all the victim shit and all that fuck, fuckery. So really what's happening is we're investing all the time. But to choose not to invest is a journey in itself because there's a reason that we are subconsciously investing in whatever the pattern, the story, the dynamic is. So in order for us to be conscious with our seeding, we have to be reflective. We have to look at the stories in our lives and recognize what it is that we've been seeding and feeding. Looking and taking stock and being like, okay, review all areas of my life, what feels niggly? How have I been feeding that story? Why have I been feeding that story? what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> and then being able to descend into the dismantling of that, you know, and it all starts when we were little bambinos, you know, it all started then, these ideas that we were imprinted by, you know, whether it was a transmission of this is how you should be, or whether it was a reaction to I don't want to fucking be like that. Whichever way we create the story that we've then been planting and seeding. But in order to create a new garden, we have to weed. So yes, on a very simple level, yellow seed, what are you seeding? What are you burping into the world? What are you wanting to bring? And it's beautiful because this energy is aligning really wonderfully. It doesn't always do this because it's a nine month cycle and a 13 month cycle, 13 moon. So it's really beautiful to witness that this energy is syncing up so that we get to really feel into like what it is that we want to seed as we are approaching a new galactic year. Again, I'm going to really support you to go through these processes in the, in the Cosmic Clock Part 2. Um, but within this timing, you know, it's not simply what are we bringing forward? What's already growing in our garden? We need to do some weeding if it isn't feeling. It's like we can't, no matter how amazing your seeds are, if your garden is full of invasive plants, those seeds are not going to be able to take root. If the soil hasn't been taken care of, if it's got no nutrients within it, if it's not healthy, those new seeds, no matter how amazing the seeds are, are not going to be able to take root. So it's like the care for the garden is the key. The care for the garden that we are is the key. You know, and, and the beautiful thing, I think, when it comes to this like nine month cycle, it's this beautifully intimate, relationship that we have with the sacred with ourselves it's this individual story of humanity that we are living it's the myth that we are and as we allow ourselves to consciously journey that and bring ourselves into the full expression of who we are and who we can be we then are adding to the collective tapestry whereas with the 13 moon there is an intense in individual person aspect but we are also working with this like wider picture of the collective human code. So with this journey of the yellow seed, these 13 days are not only going to be opportunities to see what you want to create, opportunities to witness what you're already creating, a wonderful time to really go through the garden of your being and pull some stuff out, figure some shit out, maybe plant some barriers where there need to be barriers, maybe like create a trellis for something to grow up, you know, because it's a seed. We're not talking the full 
expression of the thing it's the initial steps what needs to be in place for that thing to manifest for that thing to materialize it's the very first step of the creation of the expression as opposed to by the end of LSE I need to have got this project created as opposed it's like the starters and sometimes the starters are the actions that take us toward it you know when in terms of like planning or related to the process that we're wanting to create relationally business whatever but other times it's the understuff the steps of the underground like what do we need to do on the surface but also what do we need to do underneath the surface so that those creations those expressions have actually got opportunity to land into our lives because it doesn't matter how fucking good your plan is it doesn't matter how many opportunities seem to be lined up and stacked up and how much synchronicity that might be reflected on that trajectory if the internal belief system is not in alignment with that nothing's going to happen like the internal belief system the root system of your being needs to be in total alignment with the manifestation that's the key of the game it's the key of the game so it's also going to be superpower because we've got 10 back to back portal days so hold on to your knickers or not <laughs> depending on how you want to play that one um but yeah, go gently. And come and join the second wave of the cosmic clock because it's gonna be mint. All you need to do is send me some dollar dollar bill yo. I'm keeping it well cheap for these journeys. Listening. Um, so that it's accessible, you know, and so that we can like do the work together, man. The more that we do the work together, not only like the better is our life, but the stronger our community is. Like when you've been through these gateways and like, opened intimately through processing together those bonds are next level and with bonds like that then when it comes to creation through community when we've already journeyed together we trust each other we've seen each other we know one another so many reasons for us to consciously evolve together in containers so yeah we'll have our opening ceremony on monday which is the first day of the yellow seed. So we're totally in alignment. And then the cosmic moon actually starts on Tuesday. So we're gonna be having calls on Mondays and Thursdays, the whole way through the line. Potent ceremonies, lots of opportunity for deep diving, revealing, integrating and seeding. So I send you so much love, blessings. Hope you had a wicked summer solstice. Mine was beautiful. And yes, here's to us.